Today I'm going to show how to fix a slipping motor pulley on the electric e wheel 5. So this is the newer case and the problem actually only happens on the older one. I just don't have any of those left. But uh, the uh, issue is that uh, this wooden pulley on the motor starts to slip. And when that happens, uh, you don't get um, proper uh, turning of the flyer here. Or in some cases, you get these weird noises um, because it's, it's slipping a little bit and sort of chattering against the, the motor shaft. Now this one's working fine and it would be kind of hard to show the problem in this case. So instead I have this motor, which a customer sent in to me uh, with the problem. And uh, basically what happens is um, in the earlier version, I used super glue instead of epoxy to hold these uh, on and it can slip off. And you know, it can kind of work sometimes and not work other times because it'll kind of get jammed on there a little bit or whatnot. But um, longer term, it's going to not hold and uh, you're going to have to replace it uh, if you start having this problem. A lot of people don't have the problem, but um, if you do run into this problem, uh, it's a pretty easy fix. And I'm going to be showing that today. So uh, at your local hardware store, um, there's lots of different types of um, two-part epoxy. I'm just using one I've got here, but... Um, you don't need much of it either. You just a, a tiny amount is all you need. But um, I found epoxy uh, uh, combines with the, uh, or it holds the wood to the metal shaft uh, a lot better than other substances. Um, the other thing you're going to want to do is with a little piece of sandpaper, um, you just want to sand this shaft um, just a little bit to give it a little more, um, uh, a little bit of scarring so that the uh, epoxy can better adhere to this metal shaft. So that's pretty much all that's required. Then we've got the epoxy here and with this two part epoxy, you mix it and then you've got um, a set amount of time uh, to use it and uh, this is a really easy procedure, so you can get the faster or the slower. It doesn't matter too much. The slower is a little bit stronger, but um, either one seems to work fine. I've had people using both for these repairs. But then what you do is you just put a little bit on the motor shaft like this. And you can probably do all this without removing the motor. Again, I'm just showing you on this motor because... It's easier to see what's going on this way, and um, this is the one that I had that was a problem. And then you want to slide it on, and you want to get the uh, end of the motor shaft flush with, or you want to get the uh, wooden pulley flush with the end of the motor shaft. And you might, you know, I don't think this this isn't going to help much, but you can put a little little dab of epoxy then at the end and sort of coat it like that. And that's pretty much all you have to do. You do want to check that it's um, on there pretty straight. And the best way to do that is to spin it a little bit and, and uh, look at it while you're spinning it to make sure that um, it's not on there uh, crooked or anything. Um, this one looks like it's good. So that's all you need to do. Then you let the epoxy dry. Um, you you generally want to let it dry over, overnight, even if it's a, a shorter epoxy. Uh, look for how long it takes to fully cure, uh, because that's what you want to let it do. And then um, once it's done drying, uh, you can use your spinning wheel again. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.